Democrats and Movement for Economic Change were both formed in January. Alliance of Democrats broke off from Prime Minister Bagadi Tamosisidi's Democratic Congress. Its message of reconciliation has done the unthinkable, brought its leader Munyani Muleleki into an alliance with former arch rival and leader of the biggest opposition, ABC, Tom Tabani. It has made inroads among the youth. <laughs> Yeah. Movement for economic change split from Deputy Prime Minister Mutejwa Mitzing's Lesotho Congress for Democracy. At 39, its leader Sidibe Mushoborwani is the youngest among the front runners. His track record, first as Minister of Energy, where he led rural electrification and then Minister of Small Business, has earned him a reputation of a man of action. The the biggest parties, the Democratic Congress and the Obasutu Convention, will hold their final rallies on Sunday. Throughout this weekend, we're expecting to see those four front parties, the biggest ones, going out to get a share of the 1.2 million voters registered. And the 3rd of June will be the final day where they will know if they've done a good job or not. SABC News, Masebi Lesotho. Correspondent in Lesotho, Ntakwana Gatane, joins us now on the line from Maseru. A very good afternoon to you, Ntakwana. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you tell us which parties are campaigning today in Lesotho and uh, just what is happening on the ground? Good afternoon, Sintiwe. I'm attending a rally of the joint Congress parties. These are the parties that are currently in government, the Prime Minister's Party, the Democratic Congress, as well as the Deputy Prime Minister's Party, the Lesotho Congress for Democracy. The Deputy Leader of, or rather the Leader of the Lesotho Congress for Democracy and Deputy Prime Minister, Muteja Mising, has already spoken. And as I speak to you now, the Prime Minister and Leader of the Democratic Congress is delivering his speech. Later on, I will stop by where the Obasutu Convention, the biggest opposition, is also holding its rally, and uh, we expect that its ally, the Alliance of Democrats, will also be in attendance its members and the leader there. Thank you. And uh, what's, generally, what's the mood like in Lesotho ahead of these elections? How are the, what's the feeling about these elections? It is euphoria, simply, where everyone is wearing their colors. And of course, as you know, because us, the media, we are sometimes mixed up in these things. We try as much as possible not to wear any of the colors. Where I am now, the main colors are red and black and green of the Lesotho Congress for Democracy and the Democratic Congress. Where we will go later on will be mainly yellow, and that will be the Obasutu Convention as well as the Alliance of Democrats in their white. But but um, yesterday we saw the blue of the movement for economic change. And of course, other parties are strong around the country, also trying to make a last minute efforts to get those votes on the 3rd of June. And many people in Takwana are saying that elections are taking place in quick succession and that there needs to be an adjustment to the constitution to prevent floor crossing. Oh, certainly, Simpiwe. Uh, not only the government says that, the opposition says that as well, as well as uh, the regional bloc, SADC, and the other international bodies, they agree that, that Lesotho is going to elections for the third time in three and five years means that the constitution has loopholes that enable stability in the country. But of course, some saying that particularly this time around, where there was a motion of no confidence in the prime minister, but the constitution then gives the prime minister the power to go to the king and advise him to call elections. But of course, the government says that, in fact, that's how it should be, because at the end of the day, there should be someone responsible, and they're saying that, in fact, that power of the prime minister is good. So after this election, all parties have now signed the pledge saying that they will prioritize those reforms. 
and Sadak has come out to say, but I mean, if Lesotho had implemented the reforms before these elections, we would not be going to another election. So that post-election period, in terms of the reforms, and in terms of ensuring long-term stability in Lesotho, will be very crucial. And so all the parties agree that they will hold a dialogue, they've signed a pledge, saying that they will, all of them, regardless of who wins, will hold a dialogue to ensure that those reforms happen. Now, with coalitions seemingly unstable in Lesotho, is there any hope that the continuation of the so-called coalition era uh, w after the 27 elections will lead to good governance for the people of Lesotho? Well, Sintiwe, it doesn't look like Lesotho will have an outright winner in the near future. Because as it is, the model that we use, the electoral model, the parliamentary system, it is a mixed member proportional system. In other words, out of the 120 seats of parliament, 80 are constituency seats and the other 40 are proportional representation. But it's not just pure proportional representation, it is a compensatory proportional representation. So at the end of the day, even if a certain party wins constituencies, at the end of the day, when the other 40 seats are allocated, they will compensate according to the percentage of votes that that party gets. So this particular pact, um, whose rally we are attending at the moment, has preempted the possibility of that. And what they've done is they've decided to field candidates together. The the, 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 out of the 80 Democratic Congress has 54 uh, candidates. And the LCD, the Lesotho Congress for Democracy, has 25, and the other party, the uh, Popular Front for Democracy, has one candidate. And so they're saying they hope that out of that eight, they will get 61, which will mean that already they will be in government. But if they lose out on that, it will mean that they have compromised probably their uh, proportional representation, and it may mean that, in fact, uh, they may not be able to make it. But, of course, all that remains to be seen after the 3rd of June, when all the votes will be counted, and then we can start talking about who will be going into a coalition with whom. Simply, The Prime Minister is certainly not going away without a fight, is he? Oh, no, not at all. In fact, as we speak now, as I say, he's addressing uh, the thousands of supporters of the Democratic Congress and the Social Congress for Democracy. And you remember that the Democratic Congress actually broke away from the Lesotho Congress for Democracy. But prior to that, the Lesotho Congress for Democracy itself had broken away from the Basutu Land Congress Party. Now, the message that we're getting from both these leaders now is that they want to convince these people that they are going back to the original Basutu Land Congress Party and its ideology and its principles and are hoping that that unity will then work, win them votes. They are saying that they are going back to the ways of the founder of the Basutlan Congress Party in Kumukheshe, and this is how they are trying to appeal uh, to these voters who are gathered here today. So whether or not that message will get through and if it will translate into votes at the ballot box on the 3rd of June, it is a wait and see simply win. All right, Ntakwana, thank you so much for our update. Great chatting to you. We really appreciate your time. That is